So Dr. Mikitansky here with Trivero GI. What we're going to do is we're going to go over uh, upper endoscopy where we inspect the upper GI tract. Okay, that's the esophagus, the stomach, and the first and second portions of the small intestine for any abnormalities. Uh, there are a lot of things that can be wrong in the upper GI tract, okay? Ulcers, bacterial infections like H. pylori, or celiac disease. So we're gonna take a look, okay? I'm gonna walk you through the process as best as I can, okay? The first portion of doing endoscopy is getting into the esophagus where we actually take a look and we photograph everything. The patient is nice and asleep, she's comfortable. We're making our way down, you can see where we're actually going to where the transition of the esophagus goes into the stomach. So this is where we take pictures and inspect and see what we gotta do. And now we're all the way in the stomach. As you can see the procedure is fairly quick, it's painless. So most uh, patients have absolutely zero discomfort afterwards and they wake up feeling fairly good. So we're in the stomach now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually do something called retroflexion, where we look at where the camera actually enters the esophagus and here we evaluate for any hernias or any other abnormalities that could be going on in the, in the upper portion of the stomach. Perfect, and everything looks very nice here. Coming back to the stomach here, we look at the, the end of the stomach, which is called the antrum. And we're evaluating here for any ulcers or inflammation. And there's a little bit of inflammation here, and we'll take some samples there. And then we make our way through the pylorus, or the opening into the small intestine right here. And this is the first portion of the small intestine, otherwise known as the duodenal bulb. This looks perfectly normal. And then we're gonna make our way to the second portion right over here. This is the second portion of the duodenum. Uh, everything looks okay. Actually, on the left here, we may even have the uh, uh, entrance of the bile duct here. So this is where we actually start to take some samples. And what we're doing here is we're actually sampling for, um, uh, we're taking biopsies or samples as we call them, open, close. And uh, this is where we can actually make the diagnosis of celiac disease, which is a gluten sensitive enteropathy as we call it. Um, a lot of people think that they may have celiac disease or some sort of gluten sensitivity. So this is a very uh, good way to kind of look into that as well. Now we're back from the second portion back into the stomach. Now we're gonna take some samples here. Okay, open, close. You might see uh, there's a little bit of bleeding. That's totally normal. That stops within a few seconds. Okay, these biopsies are not deep and they do not hurt. There's actually no lining of, there's no pain receptors in the stomach. So there's, there's no pain uh, related to these biopsies. And here we're going to circle back to the body of the stomach. We inspect everything. We're looking at the mucosa or the lining of the stomach to make sure everything looks great. And it does here. Open, close, get a little sample. All right, great. And we're actually almost done with the procedure. As you can tell, it's a fairly quick procedure. You get a lot of information out of it. I, I love upper endoscopy. I love endoscopy in general, but upper endoscopy, I feel as though, is, this is what I tell my patients. You get a lot of information for a very uh, cheap price, so to speak. Uh, five minutes of uh, time. Open. Close. Okay, and then we take some samples at the gastroesophageal junction where the esophagus meets the uh, stomach. You can see the nice pink, uh, whitish mucosa rather of the esophagus turns into the nice pinkish mucosa of the stomach here. And everything looks great. This is where the endoscopy is going to be finishing up, where I would draw the camera and I take some of the air out that I introduced. And we inspect the esophagus and we're done. It's very quick, it's painless, she's gonna wake up, she's not gonna feel anything, she's gonna feel pretty good, and we'll have a lot of information. We're gonna send these samples out for testing, okay? The results will be, will be back after a pathology doctor reviews them, and then I'll be able to tell her if she has an infection, if she has celiac disease, and I'll be able to help her hopefully with her symptoms and make sure that uh, she's uh, um, operating and feeling her best. Thanks very much for watching.